T11 second semi-final. Men to look out for in this, Octavio Santos and Felipe Gomez. Muradov and Azerbaijan. Fernando Ferreira of Venezuela. Lane one, his guide Javier Ferreira. I'm not sure if no! the is not there. And this is Elchin Muradov, his guide Valentin Gulichev. Yes, yeah, so the Angolan is in position, we just didn't see him on the camera there. Octavio Santos, Nicolo Ernesto Palanta is his guide. We didn't see him on the camera, but uh, just turning around, I can see him live. And all is well. So this is the T11 men's 100 metres semi-final. Just seen Lucas Prado set a new championship record in the first semi of 11.09. Shikongo had set a new championship record earlier. Prado has broken it back almost straight away. So, Ferreira of Venezuela, Santos of Angola, Gomez of Brazil and Muradov of Azerbaijan. Now the confusion about the start was that the Brazilian didn't uh, didn't arrive at the expected time, so he was down on the caption originally as a DNS, which is did not start, but then he did arrive, so he's all set to go. Hopefully he's a little bit quicker off the marks than he was getting to the marks. A bit noisy in the stadium, they will ask for quiet for these blind runners with their guides. Santos, Gomez and Muradov, and Gomez away extremely well, but uh, moving around quite a lot in his lane. The Brazilian in the lead, he was weaving about quite a bit, but Gomez is going to win it, and Muradov of Azerbaijan will come in second. Gomez of Brazil qualifies quite comfortably, but he was moving around a lot in his lane, and his guide was having to push him back in the right direction. And he's gone right up to the camera. Now, it might well be there's some kind of inquiry there, because he went a little bit in front of Santos of Angola in the red. Brazilian runner in the green coming through there, winning it. But I just wonder if there might be some kind of an inquiry because you see here they go across a little bit into the left and possibly interfere with the Angolan in the red. See the head-on shot here. Great action from Prado once he gets uh, from uh, Gomez once he gets going, following on from Prado in the uh, previous semi-final. So Gomez definitely got the time. I just wonder whether Gomez interfered a little bit with Santos. Gomez the second closest to us, Santos the third closest, and uh, there's the photo finish which is academic. But uh, Felipe Gomez with his guide Jorge Borges, and Borges had to do a lot of work to keep his man on track there. 11.35 was the time, and I just wonder if there might be some kind of a complaint about that from the Angolans. Finished third. So 11.35 the winning time. Murudov of Azerbaijan second. And we'll come back to that. We're not going to show you the official result because I wonder if there might be an inquiry. Well, let's cross over to the men's shot put. Already a gold this week for David Casino Sierra in the discus for Spain. That throw coming from Miroslav Madzia of Poland. Results from the previous race were told in our official. So Matthias throw is 9.60. But he is a 
ninth place. So confirmation of Felipe Gomez qualifying in a time of 11.35. Muradov was second, Santos 